Okay, so this first lesson is about place values and then rounding and estimating. Okay? Um, first of all, when you are reading this number, okay, just like before, you read each group and then say the value of the last digit in the group. So, 1 million. 342,000, 365, and that's just the ones place. But then the numbers to the right of the decimal, you read them um, just like you read the numbers to the left of the decimal point. 1,427, and then say the place of the last digit. Okay? Joe? Uh, should we be writing that down? No, no, this is just a place value chart that you oh, oh, should yeah. all have. Okay, yes. Yep. And especially make sure that you have these places down. You need to have these places in the place value. Um, you need to have those memorized. Tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands. What comes after ten thousands? Again, hundred thousands, right? So if this was a five, that'd be five hundred thousands. And if this was a, a zero, and then a one, this would be hundred thousands, and then millions, and then ten millions, hundred millions. Oh, I'm sorry, 10, uh, yeah, 10 million, 100 million, billions, and so on and so on. Okay. So make sure that you know these place values. Um, remember that it starts with tenths and not once. Okay? And that will help you. So does everybody have these place values? These are the ones that are the um, probably not as familiar. Then look at your book, page 129. When you're rounding something, so let's say that we were rounding the number in example one to the nearest tenth, four and 2,683 ten thousand. First of all, you say and when you see the decimal point. So this is 4 and 2,683 ten thousands. Then, if you are rounding it to the nearest tenth, usually the place will be highlighted or underlined. And then, what's the process for rounding again? For rounding it to the nearest tenth, how do we decide what's the nearest tenth? Danny? Um, the hundreds place is for it's a five or or above it's in a ten three. This is a two. Yeah. Then we would yeah, we round it down to just four point two. So we're gonna either round it up to four point three or 4.2. Those are the tenths that this number is in between. Right? You with me? Ye. And so this place determines, the hundreds place determines if it's closer to 4.3 or 4.2. Since 6 is closer to 4.30, oh, you look at this together, you can see 426 is closer to 30 than it is to 20. And so, this would round to four and three tenths. All right? Good. Um, turn to page four, 130. You can estimate a result before you calculate. And then if you answer, if your answer is close to your estimate, you know that you're probably correct. 
Okay? So, for example, the number $126, what's the nearest dollar amount that makes sense to round it to? $130, yep. So if you have 126 plus $48, what would an estimate be? How would we estimate this? Melina. Plus. Plus 48 is closer to 50. So what would we do? 30 plus 50. Yep. So 180 would be the best estimate. Okay? So let's talk about estimating. What are the two goals of estimating? This you need to write down. When you're estimating, Goals. You need to have these two goals in mind when you're estimating. Didn't we do already do that? Yeah, we already did this. Yeah, yeah. Yep, but with, well, we're reviewing this. Yep. What are the two goals of estimating? Auto? That you can do the math in your head and you get a close answer. Right. To do, be able to do the math in your head and get a close answer. Okay? So, Estimating a group of numbers that are fairly close to each other, we use a process called clustering. Yeah. Round them all to the, uh, to the same number, and then multiply. So if we rounded all of these to 800, and then did 800 times 4, what would the best estimate be? Aiden? 3,200. 800 times 4. Okay? Let's go on. Um, let's see. That's probably all you need. Uh, let's talk about front end estimation a little bit. Let's go back. Uh, here. When the book talks about front end estimation, it's talking about taking the, the front, the first two numbers, and then um, adding or subtracting the front end of the, the second number. So, for example, in number 15, if you were to um, do six hundred or six dollars and four cents. Six dollars and four cents plus three dollars and forty-five cents plus four dollars and forty-three cents. Okay. How can we get a good estimate of these numbers using front end estimation? In other words, it's using the front of the numbers and then um, adding them up. What are both of these numbers close to? 30 3.5 and 4.5. So what we want to do is recognize that we can add halves together and then add what? 
six point four. Okay. Six to six. Again, front end estimation. Round it to numbers that are close to the um, the given numbers and numbers that you can still do in your head. So make a whole number here. What's 3.5 plus 4.5? 8. 8. Plus 3. 6 is 14. Okay. So about $14 is a good estimate there. Okay. So you're not always following the same rule when you are rounding these. Front end estimation means that you don't round them exactly the same digit to the same digit, but you look at the front of the numbers and choose numbers that you can add in your head and still get the, a good estimate. Okay? Kaden. So by adding 7 and 6, yeah. yeah, 13 would be okay. Yep. Any other questions? Okay, so your assignment is on page 132. Uh, what do you do? One to thirty-three odds. Okay. One to thirty-three odds. 